Okay, so in the last episode we finished with this. So we had our movies and then uh, if we click on one of those movies we get the movie that we want. And if we click back we get back uh, to the movie list. But there was a problem with that. If we click on this movie right now and click back button right here we will go nowhere. Actually we will just go to this new tab page that I have. So that's not good. This works, this is all okay, but it's not exactly what we want because we are building a one page or single page application. What we want to end up with is something like this. So this is uh, the testing site that I made and if we click right here on Star Wars The Force Awakens check out this URL right here. So if I click here you see that it takes me to the movie 4 but uh, it actually doesn't reload the page and if I do back so it uh, brings me back to the list of the movies. So in I thought in the last video that in this episode I would show you how to do that but since this is a bit more complicated uh, complicated to do actually there is a lot of stuff to cover I'm going to uh, make two introductory videos be before that uh, one is going to be about components so this one and the other one is going to be about routes because we are going to need to use views uh, components and routes to make this kind of functionality. You will see it's not that hard once you know what you're doing but we have to uh, first learn about uh, those two concepts in view and then we will continue doing this in the third video. So I hope these videos will be short they're just going to be a little introductions to components and to routes. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, what are components? So components are isolated instances of view that you can reuse on your page. Uh, they can be big, they can be small. As you will see, we will make a component of this single movie and we will make in the third video and we will make a component of this whole movie list. So they can be big or they can be uh, small. Uh, you can reuse them and you can do pretty much anything that you would do in your main view instance. So let's just go to our app.js and not inside this new view, so this is our main view instance, but above it we will define the new component. And to make a new component you just do view that component and then open up this and then you just define the name of your component so our component is going to be called hello and this name you can use in your index.html file uh, to display the content of that component uh, via tags so view will make a custom tag that is named after this component so let's call it hello hello then open up this and then you have to define a template so to define a template you just do template and you can define it in line but a little bit later I will show you how you can define it um, in a better way because this kind of grows so h1 let's say hello world okay close it up and that should be it. So we save this, go to index.html file and I will show that component just above this filter right here. So of course you have to uh, write your component is inside your app. So to do that, let me just make this a bit bigger. Okay, you just do hello. that's the name of our custom tag and that's the name of our component so this should hopefully work if we go to our page we do this you get hello world right here okay so that's great you made your first component but as I said you can do 
almost everything that you can do in your main view instance inside of a component you just don't declare this element uh, for your view so if we just go right here and do something like hello world again save it refresh it we will get hello world again also if we go to our index.html file as I said before uh, the components are reusable so I can do hello once again right here save it and then I should get two hello worlds okay so that's great okay so right now let's learn how to define our template but not inside of a component but uh, inside of a template tag so on our index.html file we would just go down here outside of the app so you don't uh, define it inside the app so outside of the app and you just do template and give it an ID of something so ID of hello okay and then you would just do h2 this time hello world from temp okay so this is a little bit nicer way to define the template of your component you just save this and go to your app and then ins uh, instead of this template and doing it inline you just call the ID of the template that you created on the your index.html page so I would just do hello save this and if we refresh it this works now so hello world from template and it's an h2 tag so this is great okay so like I said with view components you can do pretty much anything that you can do in your main view instance so we can for example define some data and then display that data so I can do something like data uh, but note that you don't define the data like you would in the main view instance by just doing data but you do data function function and then you just return the, uh, the data you want so let's return message message and that message would be hello world okay save this and now if we go to our template so we go to this hello template we can just do message right here and that should work as you can see we get hello world right here of course in uh, when we get a little bit deeper in, in that when in our third video we will get the data from our API and then display it uh, in our component okay so this is it for components of course there's a lot of a uh, lot more stuff to cover uh, for components and as you will see in the third video when we do hold that application thing uh, like this uh, you will see that we will even define our components a little bit differently and so on but I just wanted to make this short video so just l as an intro to uh, that whole component stuff in the next video we are going to be talking about routes and as you will see they are pretty cool so I hope you guys like this video, please follow me on Twitter or on Facebook, like the video if you liked it, uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content I put out, also don't forget that all of the code uh, that we written here is available for you on GitHub, link in the description below, and that's it, we're talking about routes next time and I'll see you in the next episode.